The pharynx. The pharynx is a muscular tube having an anterior opening which is to the nasal cavity, oral cavity, laryngeal opening or inlet, and posterior pharyngeal wall. Superiorly uh, from the sphenoid process, sphenoid uh, bone, till the openings into the esophagus and the larynx. So it is a common pathway for the uh, GIT and for the respiratory system. Divided into three parts, the nasopharynx, the oropharynx, and laryngopharynx. Starting from above, the nasopharynx, the boundaries of the nasopharynx from superiorly to inferiorly from the uh, base of the skull, which is represent the sphenoidal the body of the sphenoid. This is the sphenoidal air sinus, and this is the body of the sphenoid. This is the cella torsica. So, from the body of the sphenoid till the pharyngeal isthmus is the nasopharynx. This is the pharyngeal isthmus, which is narrowest area from the soft palate to the posterior pharyngeal wall. Posteriorly, bordered by the posterior pharyngeal wall, anteriorly, it communicates with the nasal cavity via the coene. The characteristic finding with nasopharynx first, the opening for the ostachian tube which connects the nasopharynx to the tympanic cavity, ostachian canal. This one surrounding the opening is the torus, levator, torus tuberus, or tuber elevation. This fold is the salpingo pharyngeal fold, which mucous membrane fold covers the salpingo pharyngeus muscle. This one opposite to the tu tubera, uh, torus tuberus is the torus levatoris. This area is the torus levatoris. This tonsil is the pharyngeal tonsil, the posterior pharyngeal wall. And this is space, this is space, is the pharyngeal recess. The oropharynx, the oropharynx border boundaries starting from above the pharyngeal isthmus, inferiorly the apex or the tip of the epiglottic cartilage. This is the epiglottis cartilage, and this is the tip. To the posterior pharyngeal wall is the ending or the inferior limit of the oropharynx. Posteriorly is the posterior pharyngeal wall. Anteriorly is communicated with the oral cavity via the oropharyngeal isthmus. This one is the hard palate, soft palate, and this one is the uvula. Lateral wall of the oropharynx here, lying the tonsil, which is the palatine tonsil. So this is the pharyngeal tonsil, palatine tonsil. The palatine tonsil bordered anteriorly, inferior, uh, posteriorly, and superiorly by folds. Superiorly, the fold called the supratonsillar fold. This one is the supratonsillar fold. Anteriorly, this one is the palatoglossal fold, which correspond to the palatoglossus muscle. And posteriorly, this fold is the palatopharyngeal fold, which correspond to the palatopharyngeal muscle. This is the tonsil, is the lingual tonsil at the base of the tongue. And this is the tongue. So an oropharyngeal isthmus is a space bordered between two uh, palatoglossal arch from this side and from the opposite side forming the oropharyngeal isthmus. The last one is the laryngopharynx. This area is the laryngopharynx starting from the narrowest area between the tip of the epiglottis and the posterior pharyngeal wall to the openings anteriorly to the respiratory system, the laryngeal inlet, and posteriorly the upper opening of the esophagus to the GIT. This area is a characteristic for the larynx, so we take it with the larynx anatomy.